If you want to know how to make this simple shovel that works in Roblox, as you can see right here, make sure to stick around for the entire video. Hello, my name is Luxury Lua. Today I'll be teaching you how to create this simple shovel you saw in the intro earlier. Now, let's get started. To first start off, you're going to want to go into the workspace. You're going to click the plus by it. If I can click it, actually. You're going to want to insert a mesh part. This mesh part, you can name it, make sure to name it handle with a capital H. If you don't name it handle with a capital H, it will not work. Next, you're going to want to insert a tool into the workspace. You can name this tool whatever you want. I'm going to name it shovel. And you're going to want to put the handle into the shovel. Next, you're going to want to go to the replicated storage and create an event called dig event, which I've already done. Once you've done that, go back into your shovel and insert a local script. You can name this local script whatever you want, but I'm just going to name it client script. And type the following. The code will be in the description in a paste bin, but or you can type it as I follow. Script. Wait, no. Local player equal game dot players dot local player local mouse local player colon get mouse. Local DB will equal false. Local DB is false, but it'll stop players from spam digging. Next, you want to do script dot parent dot activated colon connect function, and then. If it doesn't, Roblox should add this end for you, but if it doesn't, just add it yourself. You're going to want to type, if db is equal to false, then db will equal true game dot replicated storage dot dig event colon fire server mouse dot hit dot P. This mouse.hit.p gets the player's position when they click. Next, that that's you want to add a wait function. You can set this to whatever you want, and it'll be in seconds. And however much time you put in this wait function will be how long the player has to wait till they dig again. I'm gonna set mine to three, and then DB will equal false. Now this is the client script. Now you want to go into the shovel again and insert a, a normal script. It's just called script and I'm going to name it server script. So this is what you type in the server script. Game dot replicated storage dot dig event colon dot dot on server event colon connect player colon mouse target hmm. unknown global mouse target oh hold on I forgot to add the function function mouse target there you go after you do that this is optional, but it just lets us know it's working. You're going to want to, you can add print mouse target. So now if we go into the studio, which I'll need to give myself the tool. Um, shovel startup. Z. Now that I, ha I have this tool, you can see in the output, it printed some coordinates, and that's the place where I click. If I go to a different spot, it prints a different number. And if I click way over there, 
you can see it works. So there we go. Now what we're going to type is if player dot character dot shovel dot handle dot position minus mouse target dot magnitude is less than 12. 12 is the amount of studs that the player has to be within like a certain radius to dig with the shovel then local explosion we go instance dot new explosion explosion dot parent we go workspace explosion dot last version we go fifteen explosion dot last radius we go twelve explosion dot destroy joint radius percent we go zero explosion dot visible we go false basis false explosion dot position we go master get after the show of basis and line explosion dot explosion dot equal dot explosion dot creatures so now we should be done. I'm gonna add this into the starter pack. I'm gonna click play. Now we should be able to dig. As you can see, we're able to dig. You can customize the blast pressure and blast radius to make it so the the digging power isn't as much. Or you can just make a super overpowered admin shovel or something to dig super crazy fast and um, you know, makes a big hole. But anyways, now we can customize our shovel. Now, I'm no mesh artist, so I went into the works toolbox. Uh, under message, meshes, I searched shovel. And this field shovel model, I got its asset ID. In the mesh handle, I set its mesh ID to um, rbx asset ID colon slash slash. Hmm, copy asset URL. Hmm. Odd. Oh, well, um, I'll just take this and, um, credits to whoever made this. Thank you, um, thank you to, uh, Zien Bao1269. Thank you. And I'm going to delete the handle for this. And I'm going to put this under shovel. I'm going to name it handle. I'm going to scale it to my liking. I'm going to put this back here. And now our shovel has a texture and a mesh ID. So as you can see, now it looks like this. If you want, you can do both animations and sounds for your shovel. Oh well. I'm not going to add sounds to my shovel, but you can just probably, I would recommend checking the dev forum. I'll set a link to the sound service and all about it in the description along with the code paste bin. Thank you for watching this Roblox tutorial. I hope you have a wonderful day and good night.